Welcome to Shriners Hospital for Children. This video is intended to introduce you to the concept of halo gravity traction. This technique is utilized because severe deformities in children can be preoperatively treated with this very easy to use modality and has the opportunity to improve the overall function and recovery and outcomes of surgery. Thanks, Dr. Lumen. Your child has likely been recommended for halo traction due to an underlying spinal deformity such as scoliosis. Your doctor has recommended you undergo application of a halo with traction in preparation for your upcoming spinal surgery. During the time when you have the halo applied, you will be required to stay at the hospital. The day after your surgery to have your halo placed, you will be provided with a special wheelchair from the nursing staff that you will use while in the hospital. It has a pulley system to allow for your weights to be used while you are in the wheelchair. Your doctor will prescribe the recommended amount of weights for your traction, and it will be added slowly every day by nursing until your goal weight is achieved. Children in halo traction are required to have the weights on for the majority of their time, both awake and asleep. Your doctor will order both a physical therapy evaluation and an occupational therapy evaluation after surgery. This typically happens the day after surgery. First, we will discuss the physical therapy portion of your stay. During this evaluation, the therapist will look at your flexibility, posture, muscle strength, and walking pattern. After completing the evaluation, your therapist will determine a physical therapy plan that will be carried out while you are in the hospital. Once your physical therapy evaluation is complete, your physical therapist will fit you with a traction walker if it is appropriate. The traction walker is equipped with a similar pulley system to that of the wheelchair to allow for weights to be added as your doctor instructs throughout your course of stay at the hospital. We encourage all patients to be up and walking as much as they can throughout the day and the traction walker provides this opportunity. Prolonged use of the wheelchair can lead to tightness and weakness in muscles of the legs. Walking has been proven to improve muscle and bone strength as well as heart and lung capacity. The physical therapy plan typically includes a walking program on the treadmill. We will begin with a treadmill test to determine your baseline for endurance on the treadmill. Once that is established, we will begin a daily walking program, working to build speed and endurance as tolerated. You will be monitored by a physical therapist at all times on the treadmill to maintain safety. If your therapist has determined that you have some limitations in flexibility of your legs, they will provide you with a stretching program. During your stay at the hospital, occupational therapy will evaluate your range of motion, upper body strength, coordination, balance, and fine motor hand skills. Our plan is for you to participate in occupational therapy to improve your upper extremity strength, flexibility, core strength, balance, and overall endurance. We tailor our sessions to what you like to do. Some examples of what we may do include arm, core, and back strengthening exercises, crafts, board games, and even video games. We utilize a child-friendly yoga program to help improve balance, core strength, and range of motion of the upper body. We increase the number of repetitions, weight of the dumbbells and wrist weights, and increase the difficulty level of our activities to make you stronger throughout your stay in preparation for your spinal surgery. We encourage you to participate in the many activities with the Recreational Therapy Child Life Department. These activities are designed to help each child adjust to their hospitalization, give them an opportunity to make new friends, and have fun while in the hospital. Participating in the various programs is an integral part of a successful hospitalization for your halo traction. Let's hear what our superstar traction patients have to say. Hi, my name is Emerson Poe and I was in halo for four weeks in 2020. First, I was scared. Then I realized it was fun because I could choose what I wanted to do. We played bingo made slime and had movie nights. It was a cool experience. This is a great hospital and I love the people. Okay, so I know you guys are watching this video thinking this is crazy. It actually is, but you'll get used to it. Just make sure you let your doctors know if like you're feeling any pain. It's not as bad as it looks. Like they're really not in your head. They're like on the outside layer, just beneath their skin. The first few days feel like a headache, a migraine, but it gets better 
you get taller, which is a perk if you have younger siblings. But for all people, it's not the same. So just make sure you let your doctors know and tell them that you want to go your own pace. Thanks, Karis and Emerson. You will be able to shower with the halo on and will receive instructions in proper pin care to prevent infections. The nursing staff is always available to help with questions about pin care and daily hygiene with the halo. Please let us know if you have any questions about your upcoming halo stay. We hope this video has helped to answer many of your questions and we look forward to getting to know you and your family.